Howdy folks and welcome to this Season 1 wrap up. Despite having the Premiership win, we are still a little bit down in the dumps about losing that Coca-Cola final. But let's see how the season unfolded, as well as having a look around the different competitions in the Australian database, just to see the lay of the land. So here we go, the end of season review, and it looks like that Alexander Fisher was our best signing there. Only just, I would suggest, I thought Nikos Giorgio was just as effective, playing more games and actually Fisher did. Looking at the season's results there, a comfortable 19 point win in that league and Adelaide River were in fact the team that got promoted with us. We'll actually show you the breakdown of the playoff games in a moment. So top goal scorer for Humpty Doo was Dick Splash with 69 goals. It sounds appropriate for Dick. And he got uh, two draws in the whole of the competition. Now obviously you can see the draws in the first half of the comp really. So Cox Peninsula was a two-all draw at home and the McMinn's Lagoon draw 3-3 three, three away. That was the controversial one where we scored on full time but it was disallowed. So our biggest win was 15-0 over Alice Spring at Celtic. And look at those. Boy had a field day that game he got what six goals there dick splash got three goals harry dixon balls got three goals and nicked off only got two but uh yeah 15 nil that's a pretty big drubbing and the match to remember i don't really know why this one is any more special than any of the others but the 10-1 win over litchfield has been selected and the goal of the season i actually haven't recorded that so I apologise for that. A 29 metre free kick. So, well, reputation has gone from local to regional now, but still, what, half a star? So nothing to write home about. Sponsorship deal, very, very small. You know, 10.5k. Competition prize money is probably the biggest number there, 1.03 million. So that's actually something not to be sneezed at. And the match day commercial and retail sector, 159k. So they're probably the most significant numbers there. And our formation, the most popular formation obviously was the 4-2-3-1 there. Uh, obviously Dick Splash up on his own. But remembering that uh, the boy that can't be named has actually had a big season as well. So often he's either come off the bench or we've actually put him up front with Splash. But I think it's fair to say that when both of them were up front together, Splash did not play as well as he did when he was up there on his own. Okay, so now we're looking at the accolades. So, head coach awards, that's me. So obviously we have Dick Splash Senior, which is me, and then Dick Splash Junior. And it is indeed Dick Splash Jr. that has taken out the majority of the players' awards and broken the records for the club. Mind you, it is the first season of the club, so they're probably not as significant as they will be in coming years. So let's have a look at them. The fans' player of the season was Dick Splash. The young player of the season was the boy that can't be named. And the signing of the season, Alexander Fisher, who we've mentioned earlier. The goal of the season, also we mentioned earlier, was Doug Fleeballs. And the top goal scorer, and this is 75 goals, I guess that's including all the other matches as well. 69 league goals and another six in the other competitions. Most assists, Phil's ass with 41. That's actually quite a big number. And then most player of the match awards is Dick Splash as well. A highest average rating there as well to the boy. And then just crossing over to the broken records, 75 goals in a season by Dick Splash. Most league goals in a season is 69, we mentioned before. Most goals by a player in a match is six goals, which was that Alice Springs drumming 15 nil from memory. And most goals by a player in a league match, so again, probably the same game there. Talked about the most assists there, most shutouts was Alexander Fisher there most player of the matches so we're just regurgitating things there and an unwanted award there for frank and beans now i don't believe that i've scrolled down here so that is very remiss of me once more competition awards the coca-cola cup player of the year was bill wilkins so that's good to see as well oh i did scroll so most league appearances by a player 36 appearances for dick splash most goals we talked about youngest player was phil zars 15 years oldest player daniel collins remembering he left us really quickly and highest transfer fee received was for randy sack rider we didn't really see him play at all unfortunately but a promising player but just needed a few more games fastest goal was the boy that can't be named in 26 seconds phil zars the youngest goal scorer there 15 years old and then obviously the oldest goal scorer was Daniel Collins who had the temerity to go and leave us 
but again I think that just meant that we were able to blood other players so it was a win for us so now we're just going to look through the timeline now I'm not going to spend much time talking about that you can have a look at through that yourselves and you can come up with your own comments for those but that is our season okay players of the year winners now this is quite a good thing because Dick Splash was the NTP player of the year hardly surprising really though 69 goals there 15 assists 36 appearances so we didn't play as many games as some of the other players 8.47 average there and then Harry Tall we saw in the Palmston Panthers game that we played recently that uh, he was actually quite an effective striker look at that he's got 62 goals of his own there so very very impressive 19 assists as well 8.47 as well so he finished in second and then the Golden Greek who we've actually spent a little bit of time with in this uh, save average rating of 8.34 but look at those goals 83 goals only eight assists though so maybe that cost him a little bit but again here's a big loss to the competition for next year because uh, Adelaide River are going to struggle without him I think so they've coming up with us and there's the Golden Boot Award Fucker Carcass there with 83 goals again we saw that a little bit before Dick Splash in second with 69 and Harry Tour with 62 so I've already spoken about those boys and I was lucky enough to take home the NTP manager of the year award got to say though I was uh, pretty blessed with a pretty decent side so the proof of any awards will be in the pudding in in the coming seasons when I lose a lot of these really champion players so that's hardly surprising there it's basically the top three teams have the top three managers according to the pundits there and in the NTP all-star team it is is covered in blue there you've got George fucker carcass there and then you've got a Molino on the left wing there they've gone with a classic 442 there but they are the only players not so interesting but uh, hardly surprising the fucker carcasses there he was he was amazing this year and in other awards there the Northern Territory Premiership Rookie of the Year Alexander Fisher our goalkeeper was to win that and the Golden Glove also went to Alexander Fisher before we head to that wrap of the different competitions this is how it went in the playoffs for the northern territory premiership adelaide river beat larapins at 3-1 there you got a fucker carcass goal again there so he scored one there and then cal Takajara ended up playing palmerston panthers and they were successful in beating palmerston so they've come from fifth i think to get that win so 3-0 a very comprehensive win there so it was to be adelaide river and cal Takajara in the playoff final and it was Adelaide River again who came home with the spoils there, defeating Kautukajara 3 1 with a fucker carcass hat trick. To see Adelaide River into the next division, but without him. So I think they will struggle. And now we're just going to go through a tour of the different league. Now, most of these leagues will still be at the playoff stage because once again I screwed up and I recorded this before it actually finished the seasons with some of these. But at least you should be able to see the teams that automatically qualified. Just a little aside, in the A League, our ex player Daniel Collins ended up having a pretty good season for MacArthur. He's got a third in the player of the match awards and he's also prominent in the assist list with eight assists. So congratulations to him. He was never really going to be staying here but credit where credit's due. So I'll just quickly go through the finishing tables there. So a lot of the time you're going to find that you have the champion and then the playoff teams in each of the divisions that are in the Skullduggery database. So I'll put some background music in and we'll just scroll through these until the end. Thanks for joining us today and I uh, hope you enjoyed the wrap up and join us next episode for the beginning of season two thanks for supporting these videos guys and your support of the channel in general if you're enjoying the content give us a like and subscribe just to encourage us a bit and let us know that you like the sort of content that we're creating and come on the journey with us to see where this series ends up remembering this second season is our last in fm23 and then we're into 24 so we'll see you in season two thanks again guys see you later